Alright, hello guys. In this video, I'm going to be bringing back an old series that I used to do, which is weekly forecast. It was really a fan favorite, and you guys really stopped begging me to bring it back. But for a while, you guys were asking me to bring it back. I don't know why I ever stopped, but I am bringing them back because they were always very popular and easy to make, and I feel like they're very, very, very useful. So I'm going to be bringing that back. Before I get started with this video, though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. I do make videos like this all the time, as well as winter forecasts, seasonal forecasts, monthly forecasts, and forecasts for storms that are happening right now, like hurricanes, severe weather events, and winter storms. So keep that in mind. Now we're going to get right into things here, looking at the precipitation forecast. Later on in the video, though, we will look at the temperature forecast and also our special note segment, which is kind of like specific storms that I'm expecting during the week. Now this forecast only goes through the 24th to the 28th because I'm going to make this like a Sunday to Sunday series, but right now it's Wednesday, so uh, we're going to be doing a shorter segment today. Now looking at the precipitation forecast, you can see west of the Rockies, we're looking average, nothing in particular to mention there, but east of you guys, we're going to be looking at below average precipitation or slightly below average precipitation from the Dakotas down through Nebraska, Kansas into Texas, and then back up into Minnesota, Missouri, Iowa, and the Great Lakes states, as well as interior New England and interior Northeast. Now, east of you guys, we are going to be looking at above average precipitation from coastal Texas up through some of the Gulf states, Tennessee, riding some of those southern Appalachians and Smoky Mountains, and then up into the northeast coast there, we're looking at slightly above average precipitation. And then we have an area of a moderate above average precipitation there from Louisiana in through Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and Florida there. That's where we're expecting a pretty good amount of above average precipitation, and it should be noticeable over the next five days. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to your temperature forecast, and there's a lot going on here. In the northwest, starting off things, we're looking at slightly below average temperatures. This shouldn't be too noticeable, but on paper, it will be below average. Now, for California, we're expecting above average temperatures, and that's actually in the moderate shade, so it will be quite noticeable that it will be pretty warm for you guys over the next five days. But we do have a slightly above average temperature area from Nevada and Arizona up through Utah and some of those northern Rockies and in through the Dakotas, Minnesota, the Great Lakes states, and a little bit of New York there as well. That'll be, again, not as noticeable but it will be there on paper that we do have above average temperatures. Now, we do have an area of below average temperatures there for the east, and that's a little bit more prominent, but for the southeastern United States in general, we have slightly below average temperatures, and then within that, we have a moderate shade of below average temperatures from Texas up through a little bit of Oklahoma, Kansas into Missouri, Louisiana, Mississippi, Tennessee, Kentucky, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware. We're expecting moderately below average temperatures and then we have a third shade of blue here that's where we're expecting well below average temperatures eight to ten degrees below average i think for the next five days for you guys so texas oklahoma kansas and arkansas as well as a little bit of mississippi and northern louisiana there we're expecting well below average temperatures for you guys now we're going to go ahead and look at your special note segment of this video and this tends to be one of the most useful tools actually that you will get from this video we only have one special note today Sorry, my phone just made a notification, but we only have one special note today, and that is for the southeastern United States, so coastal Texas, coastal Louisiana, coastal Mississippi, coastal Alabama, Florida, as well as some portions of southern Georgia. We're expecting tropical concerns, whether that's a tropical depression, just a little bit of tropical activity, or a tropical storm, or even a hurricane. I don't think it'll be a hurricane, though. Uh, but we do have some tropical storms or tropical concerns for this area from the 24th through the 26th. So kind of earlier on over the next two days, we will have some activity going on in this area. Now that's it for this video. I did want to uh, ask you guys to go ahead and leave a comment on something. I'm just going to request something out of you guys here. If there is anything you would like me to add to this series or anything that you think would be useful. It's kind of basic right now. We only have the temperature, precipitation, and then special notes. If there's anything over the course of a week that you think would be very, very useful to add to this video, please leave a suggestion in the comments. As I look, I want to really add to this series as I think it's kind of raw right now and it could, it could become something very special, kind of like the seasonal and monthly forecast. So if there is, again, any other type of, of, uh, thing you'd like me to mention or forecast during these weekly forecasts, make sure to leave it down below as it would help me a lot. And if that's information that would be useful to you, then it would be helpful to you as well to comment something. So go ahead and do that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video and I'll see you guys for the next weekly forecast on Sunday.